Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. A channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. I want to say I really really appreciate you and if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button every other person that has been sending us encouraging ways asking questions we really appreciate that we really appreciate that we have um, uh, Gideon Adekami Adekami you say God bless you more sir uh, we really appreciate that G Gideon please keep these messages coming and if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button share the videos for those that need to see it to see we've been having these encouraging words uh, please keep them coming we really appreciate that we really really appreciate um, that so we got another question from bless Mon montwa <coughs> Bless Muntua. You said, Hello, engineer. Is it possible to insert a blank story without a source story information as this column etc? E.g., I want to create a triple story building with each floor having a different floor plan. Every time I generate a story from an existing floor, the as is from previous story generated in the new story floor one as this are generated into floor two plan making it difficult to draw at columns wall slab onto the new floor is there a way to insert a new story without any as is from previous floor i hope this makes sense this is new from south africa neil thank you for this your a question yes you can do that and that is what we'll be talking about in this video how to generate floor and we can even say uh, generate um, floor with uh, different floor layouts from the first layout do this this is your crotal structure uh, interface so I'm going to do something that please pay attention to this you know your floor layout uh, please check our previous video I'm not going to explain in detail but just look at our previous videos we have explained this so let's assume this is your first floor this is your first floor and uh, we've already placed columns check our other other videos we've already explained this that i'm doing we've already explained it okay so we've introduced columns and beams okay let's assume this is your first floor um, let's put our slabs this is our first floor and in the next floor our 
the the domain let's assume the next floor already we have in four meters four meters and four meters here so let's assume the next floor let's generate let's insert our story we need three floors mm, okay we, you say you are doing three floors so plus the roof we make it um, four that is our protas is it So Neil, if you look carefully at this part, you see story one, two, three. Then this last story is the roof. Already we are having this. If we if we say we generate this to this, you will get exactly what is here. So what I would advise you to do is um i don't know if you, if you can send um me the your your architectural drawing i will know what exactly you are trying to do but let me assume let me assume that is what you you want to do so let's assume in the next floor instead of four meter your spacing is three meter. Instead of four four meter, you have three meter, maybe another three meter, and this one is bigger, or whatever it is. Until I see what you are trying to, what what exactly your drawing is. So what what I would do is, on this level here, yeah, on this level, hmm, I will offset my grid lines offset I will offset my grid line function F2 let's assume is negative 3000 that is what I want I've gotten this let me look at the next floor what I, so you see this line now if here we are having I don't know maybe same thing let's say negative negative 250 2.5 let's assume so it all depends I don't have your drawing so if if I have the drawing I can explain further but let me just assume that is it but if not please uh, respond on the comment section let's assume this other one is 100 one, uh, one meter okay so we have the, the thing you need to do is where the positions of the nest your nest floor will be try to create those grid lines first then also where are the columns terminating are the columns going all through so all those information I don't have them so I really can't um, explain what I want to explain but now these are the this is the floor we are working on we are working on this floor so we all have all these grid lines so the first thing you need to do is when you insert story before you generate the floor create the grid lines the areas where you want your columns to be on or what not like all this now I don't know whether your column is going or true or it's just the beam that is being being moved around so I don't have that information but help me out comment on reply on the comment section let me know if your columns are going all through to the third floor 
or they are terminating at which floor but i don't know that information the two things you need to create first is your grid line and your column so help me out with that i think uh, if you check our previous video there's a place i put my email address where if you want to send me your sample drawing for me to talk about it check at abalo engineering limited l the limited is ltd at gmail.com so if you if you have that send me so if we now move we say generate we can either do it two ways we can either move to this place and start inserting our columns where they are where they are but i don't have that information if i have that i will do so let me let me do generate um, okay so for you to generate your floor you must go to where the existing floor is so we'll come here we generate generate now we are picking floor one and the target is floor two say okay so automatically automatically we've gotten this so let's assume okay close now this is this is floor two let's assume our floor floor this is not there this is not there this is not there okay we assume delete delete an assumption i don't have the architectural drawing so i really can't uh, explain more so neil if you if you if you're watching please um you can send me the architectural drawing let me look at it or just comment at the the comment section so let's assume we we have a beam running through here in this new place so if the column so that's why i say i need to know how your columns are positioned i don't have that information so let's assume we are out we took this out took this out took this out we took this out so let's assume our beam our beam is from here let's assume i don't have the architectural drawing so i will just do what i'm supposed to do so if you look at it your first floor and your second floor is already different <clears throat> So you can go. So floor one is different from floor two. Good. It all depends again. If your floor three now, you can also say generates. Depending, you generate on floor. you generate generate on floor 3 say yes let's assume let's assume this is different same thing we did let's assume there is a different this floor is different let's assume whatever it is that you want to change you you create the as is first let's assume is all an assumption so if i have the actual architectural drawing i can 
do exactly what you are thinking about okay um, there's a mistake okay we move to three and we delete So let's let's assume is an assumption. Let's assume we assume this is like this and this is like this on this floor. So whatsoever you want, you must create your axis line first. So already the first floor is different from second floor the third floor is different so whatever you do you create your axis line first that's the first thing you need to do create the axis line in this new floor you are going to where the columns will be where the axis line the beams on or whatnot will be create that if you do that um, you can solve that um, challenge that you are having so with this if you uh, insert a story the next thing you need to do is to create the col the axis line where this new structural element would be i hope i explained what you are looking for or if not please respond let me know or send me the architectural drawing let me see what you're talking about and um, we'll see how it will be of help to you and also um, we'll be ending the video here this is it but if you don't understand anything please let me know and if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button also um, we are still the one-on-one -on -one training is still ongoing if you are still interested Please keep those may coming. We can receive those that have sent us may, and those that have begin have begun their training. I really appreciate. I really appreciate that. Please keep those uh, uh, messages coming. Keep those email coming, so that we can book your own appointment and have a one-on-one -on -one training with you. So uh, until I come again. So remain blessed. Bye.